Check. Bitch. And welcome to the National Bee Treasure Podcast with your host, Will Smith. Will Smith. That was a boring one. I'll I, was, be, I'll be. I, I, I had something earlier and I forgot it, so I just threw a Will Smith out there. Whack, right? Well, since you're going with Will Smith, I'm going with Jackie Chan. Because I'm ambiguous. I'm ambiguous. I am ambiguous. So I could be Jackie Chan. You never know. Uh, and I'm Joey. Uh, shout out to Jackie <laughs> and Will. Uh, my bros. <laughs> So wait, do you mean you're ambiguous as in racially ambiguous? Sexually ambiguous? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all of them. All, <laughs> the, all ambiguity. the ambiguity. Yeah, I could, all I, of it. I could definitely see a little Asian in there. Well, are oh, Mexicans yeah. like mixed with, with Asian people? That's probably Technically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, that's, I just that know a lot of Mexicans well, and see, Chinese. See, you got to look at like the Bering Strait, right? So you had a lot of indigenous people and, and people that are from Western Asia. So... Living in the Bering Strait, crossing over to uh, old the more east and then more west. So yeah, you have indigenous people that look Asian uh, that have like some kind of descent. If you look at my 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 breakdown, it is a lot of Western Asian. So yeah, I'm ambiguous. Who knows? So yeah, you're just a jack of all trades. But in Pennsylvania, you're a white man or a Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're a I white am. Mexican. I learned that really early that like if I wasn't in New York City, I was just a Mexican to everybody else. Um, well, like, well, in New York City, you're Puerto Rican, literally and only Puerto Rican. <laughs> and only because it's a, if you're on the East Coast, it's Puerto Rican. If you're in Chicago, it's Puerto Rican. But everywhere <laughs> else, Mexican. it's Mexican, dude. And that was like the most infuriating thing growing up because it's like, what do you mean? And like, now, I kind of get it now because it was like, like if you've only met like three Mexicans, like pretty much everyone else has to be. That is in that group is going to be that group. Like, I, I gotta look I, up like why everyone people have the worst jokes. I have to look up why people like white people specifically think everyone is Mexican because like Mexicans have a very distinct look to them that doesn't look like mm-hmm. any other <laughs> sen- South or Central no. American person. So I don't know why no. they always like oh you must be Mexican right like if you say you're Ecuadorian they're Mexican Ecuadorians don't look like Mexicans Puerto Ricans don't look like Mexicans. I don't get it. Uh, I mean, you know, like it's it's the thing. Like, they're uh, you know what Mexicans it is? have more indigenous yeah. blood than ev- than more like you know what it is of everyone else like because of how they fight back. Pe- I feel like white people don't have senses. I feel like a white people can't hear and see a lot of things, like music. Like sometimes, no. like uh, at work, we'll be like blasting like some provocative rap music and like nobody bats an eyelash and i'm like i, I don't think you can hear this like I like even if like no. like you know bop your head or be offended or something but like some people <laughs> just like walk by and just like acknowledge nothing yeah they have no souls or they just hear racism because i remember uh this girl mm-hmm. at work i'm not really familiar with uh sada baby's music but you know he's from detroit so he gets played a lot out here right and some girl was listening like the little cleanup lady gender girl hello speaker <laughs> And she was blasting Sada Baby, and the, this white woman walks past, and she's like, all I got out of that lyric was sex trafficking. And a girl, like, I don't know what the song was, but the girl looked at her like, what the fuck did you get sex trafficking out of this song? <laughs> like, he's talking about his ops. Like, what? <laughs> Where did you... And Sada Baby's music is like comedy. So, like, if you can't yeah. get the comedy, I feel like it's just a white person thing. They just, they can't taste food. That's why they have breadcrumbs in their mac and cheese. And, you know. Uh... Breadcrumbs in mac what? and cheese is great. I, I, I gotta Nino back that Kier, up, bro. Nino I gotta Kier. back it up, bro. I gotta back it up. I think I really like breadcrumbs. It's panko breadcrumbs on ting. top of that mac and cheese. That is a ting, boy. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that, you don't do not put breadcrumbs bro. in mac and cheese. Man, I don't know, man. Remember that time I panko the, with a little butter? Yeah. Remember that time I like whispered to you at your like Thanksgiving that that the white because yeah. So Christian's wife is white, <laughs> and I was at his house for Thanksgiving, and his white side of the family was there. And I, I whispered to him because at, at the time your place wasn't really that big, and I was like. Are, are these white people going to put breadcrumbs in the mac and cheese? And you very loudly go, what, breadcrumbs are great in mac and cheese. And I was like, shh. Because <laughs> I don't give a shit. I will back that up. That's the one thing I will back up. I think I think breadcrumbs, def, like, you got to have that. It's about mm-hmm, texture, mm-hmm, bro. Mm-hmm. It's about the, the creaminess and the richness of, of macaroni and cheese. And then you add panko on there with a little butter and parsley. I don't know. It just does something for me. You know, like those, remember those like expensive, like mac and cheese places? Yeah. 
gourmet mac and cheese places uh, like the ones that like you know 25 dollars because you had like smoked mm-hmm. gouda those places were the best waste of money for me <laughs> so I don't see here's my thing about breadcrumbs and mac and cheese so upon first taste when it's fresh it's all right i feel personally the breadcrumbs oh, add nothing but they fuck it up when you have the leftovers because there's always leftover mac and cheese you don't make mac and cheese mm. for one yeah. Or, or at least baked mac and cheese. We're talking. Mm-hmm. By the way, for the no. audience, if I'm talking mac and cheese, I'm always talking baked. I don't know what that oven stove top shit is. I, that cheese and and, We're talk about and that. bread noodle crap. I'm talking baked mac and cheese, macaroni pie. You know, and um, yeah, like the breadcrumbs don't really add too much when it's baked, and then when it's a leftover, they're just soggy. I feel like they just get in the way. It feels sandy almost. Okay. See. Okay. I. I'll, I'll be on board with let's not reheat that uh, because you're right. It should be eaten. Like, that's why I like those expensive places because it'd be that little fucking skillet and you'd feel like a monster after you're eating it. But, you know, uh, I love that. But I will say uh, shout out to your mac and cheese from. Uh, uh, and if you need a mac and cheese recipe on the fly, who was it? Was it Patty LaBelle? Yes, Patty LaBelle's mac and cheese. That is a heart attack. It's four different kinds of cheeses. Mm. I'll say it, it was gorgeous. Yes, we did have a potluck, and I did make the Patty LaBelle's <laughs> mac and cheese. My mom used to make it every uh, holiday, and that is literally so diabetes good because it's four different kinds of cheeses. It's like Velveeta, Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack. Um, I forget the last two or last one. Were you I think there, Cheddar. Joey? No, Joe doesn't leave his house. Ooh. We know this. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. But but it was I forgot like who else? No. You had to be Wait, there. Wait, I I stood up was for it? a second. This was at your crib? Are we talking about the gang's giving? No, 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 no. It was uh uh yes, the gang's giving. See, the, I remember because I remember us like vibing over the mac, mac and cheese. Yeah, and, and you, then you gave we me were, your and then your fucking potato salad recipe because that shit was crap. Oh yeah, you know what? That 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 is a that is a very guarded recipe that I won't let anyone. But I I won't even spend time on it because I don't want nobody asking me Facts. about it. Um, yeah, your potato, but, <laughs> your potato salad is unmatched. I'll give you that. Is that yours or Joni's? Uh, I've se- no, that's me. That's uh, that's my mom. Uh, it, my mom made that recipe. For rest in peace to uh, the moms. Uh, she made that, and I have been carrying it on for this entire time. And literally, you, I think Joey, you, and my brother and Kristen, Kristen yes, know that recipe, yes. and that was it. Everyone else does not know it because i'm you can guess it and it's very easy but i just don't want to tell anybody i think i did then make if, it I, if i guessed, see it but i'm not sure i mean maybe i'm recalling a different yeah, memory you can guess it you you can i'll tell you it but it, it's just one of those things like i don't want to see it like all of a sudden everywhere like, gentrified at like smorgasbord <laughs> like on, on with, like fucking <laughs> artis artisanal cilantro and 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 you know fucking Onions raised from you know next to Odin's like Odin land. Damn, I don't know. Thanksgiving's coming up. Where would that be? Thanksgiving's coming up. What are we doing? Well, I'm not doing shit. I'm in Detroit. I'll just be Ubering. You guys, everyone is is invited to my house that is on this podcast. And if you're listening and donate money, you're also invited. Yeah, we should probably. I probably should uh, add a. You know what's funny? <laughs> Let's get yeah, I felt a nice little moment last night because I saw that we had more YouTube followers, even though we haven't really been like mm-hmm. talking it. And I realized, mm-hmm. and shout out to you guys out there, there's really no way to find the YouTube unless you go to my Instagram. Because uh, before, on our podcast Instagram, it just had the Buzzsprout link, the link for all the, where you can mm. listen. But it didn't have YouTube. So the only place that YouTube is listed is on my link tree on my personal profile. It's the National Meat Treasure yeah. Podcast yeah. and the National Meat Treasure YouTube. It's in but my like, link oh, tree. So- oh, in my solo too. Well, it's in mine too, and we share it. If you are on the dead dinosaur that Facebook is, which that brings us into a good segue after this, um, you you will see that I post every Tuesdays and Thursdays the YouTube link to the direct video, which I think is gold because uh, there's a lot of good things. You get to see jo- uh, Joey's be- pretty eyes. You get to see Justin's gorgeous hair, kind of going back and also, forth from like anime villain to anime hero. I was going to ask you earlier before the Facebook <laughs> shutdown because we are recording this live just after the Facebook shut down. Mm-hmm. We should start doing thumbnails for the YouTube videos. I was like looking up other podcasters and they yeah. all have thumbnails. They're, they're, not, they're simple. They're like, it's a cutout. Yeah, lazy. A cutout. Yeah, I know. Making thumbnails is ass. I hate it. But um, 
it's it's so annoying but i'll do it i'll do it you know what because we deserve to to i'd let youtube just like pick the whatever it thinks it's it's great but it's not because yeah. half the shots are like this yeah like yeah all you need so to do is just put like, like a, a quote from the episode and then like something in the background that is relevant to that quote so yeah, if I, yeah. we have like a talk about don cheap so for the matrix episode for example you just have like a matrix mm -hmm. backdrop and then like a cutout of your face and then like don cheetah was more from the episode <laughs> like oh okay we, we're getting in there okay yeah i, okay. I can send you some I'll, examples I'll after this i, I actually like, it's, it's, I, like, I like where it's going. but it's cool if you don't want to do it because canva like i don't know what it is yeah. about like you know what it is i just can't sit and do things i need like some adderall or something i get that but speaking of That's drugs what it is, bro i'm sorry wait, you want to talk about something about facebook before i get into drug drugs one more time Oh yeah, no. Uh, we oh, were yeah. we were talking about it, me and Joey, right before. Um, so society almost crumbled. Um, so let's 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 examine yeah. that. But number two, our podcast almost went into shambles because I don't have Joey's number, and you had it, but you didn't know you had it. So what's up with that? You know, social media has finally killed us all. Yeah, man. Dude, yes, uh, we're reporting live from the uh, recent Facebook shutdown. That was yeah. about I want to say six seven hours. And let me tell you, I was, it was seven yeah. hours. It was a long time. I was <laughs> I was geared up for the apocalypse. I am so ready. It's funny because just oh my yesterday God. I was just like lamenting, thinking about Rona and how like at ease I felt when everyone was in chaos because I was born to, like I said, I, in my best life, I am an apocalyptic desert raider in a Jeep shirtless, uh, beheading people for the resources. So I'm ready for that life. I, the machete's in the car. I got a Honda Civic so I can get more gas mileage than most of America. <laughs> I'm ready to go. True. But see, here's where you fucked up. So you get you get the gas mileage, great. But you've got no all-wheel drive. Where are you going? Any bad weather, you got to go south, and you know everyone's yeah. going south. This, is, this brings me to my point yeah. earlier, before we recorded... <laughs> You need a doomsday prep. I think everyone has to do it just a little bit just to understand that shit is that difficult. I mean, shit is that delicate, pardon. Because last uh, last year when the shutdown had just started two months in and, you know, Black Lives Matter was, was on everybody's mind and people were going fucking buck wild in, in the White Alps by me. You know, <laughs> like white Alps. all these like. Bro, like they were going like nuts. They like like there was people who like I live in the Poconos. Okay. So there's not much that goes on in the first place. And you had folks acting like somehow like bad actors from Philadelphia and New York City were just gonna sandwich them. Like no one gives a rat's <laughs> ass about you or your shitty fucking business. Like you're not close to anything. No one's per like like uh, anybody comes there to me, I'm gonna I'm going to let them know who I am. Like, you know, that the, like call the ambulance, but not yep. for me. Like, <laughs> that, like, uh, like, <laughs> like that, that's what we had everyone. But so that made me nervous. So that response to that response was like, Oh, society is, is like literally right at the end. And I need to uh, do what I think a lot of America did. I bought a gun. I bought lots of ammo. And I bought shit to make sure that if anything went down, I could throw things in a bag, a couple book bags, and we're out. Like the wow. whole family. That's where my mind was at. I was really in a, in a dark place. And that's why, shout out to therapy. You should always try to, uh, to look for some kind of help when you do need it. Uh, but I think therapy isn't just for people who are sick. I think therapy is for all of us and just to process those emotions. So if you felt fucking stressed and you did what I did, let me know because I like I felt crazy, but when I was calling up these gun shops, bro, nobody had shit. Right, of course. Nobody had fucking ammo. Nobody had fucking firearms. Like the only things were left were like single barrel shotguns. Like I luckily ordered my shit online, and I was I was prepared to wait. But a lot of people were were freaking the fuck out. So yeah, I don't know, man. I love how I, I'm, I'm 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 a I'm waiting for it, but. Imagine I the profit the... margins for a gun store during the beginning of the pandemic. Niggas must have been cashing out. Yeah. I would love to be that. Sorry, go ahead, Justin. I wanted to hear what you No, I just your take on I this. like how you phrase it as in like your therapist told you to get armed. 
<laughs> she did. No, she'd probably be very upset if she ever heard this because that's one of the things they ask you. Like, do you have a firearm? And did I lie? Yeah. Yes. You can't lie to your therapist, <laughs> dude. You, uh, I I can lie about firearms. Yes, I can. Because they'll be like, "Hey, maybe you should lock that up." I'm like, "I'm not doing anything with it. It's just in case." Then you just put it to her forehead. Why don't you lock it up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you Listen, make me lock up this quiz? Some, I think everyone has a comfortable lie that they that they won't bru- like they won't cross with the therapist. Yeah. There's like one like and like there's like everyone's got their line like wherever it is. I like listen, mine is that like uh, some people's is that maybe they take a lot more molly than they do yeah <laughs> like you know like look, like look, honestly listen, bro, listen, like, listen you know i was actually reading up on molly today. i wasn't talking about you by the way oh no we, <laughs> we 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 should we should all take more molly molly should be prescribed um yeah should oh, well, it? it actually is there's like a drug on the market that like does meth st- no not meth uh <laughs> it stimulates the effects of molly what is it called like lip lipa something lipas it's like a fuck i don't know but uh you know, we, we, we talk about Molly as like a rave drug, a party drug, but like right. I've never raved on Molly. I've just been hanging out and yeah. it's fucking great. Maybe that's what your problem is that you haven't raved on it. Like that's you true. need to be in a blood rave with with uh Blade and you on Molly. Because like that would be <laughs> a perfect season ending, personally. I think we end episode thirty with you in the blood rave with like hot big titty goth girls all around that is true but like that is a dream of mine but taking molly just chilling that's at, my dream fuck. taking molly just chilling in your house is a vibe dude like put the ac on put on a nice tune rub your wife's back it just it feels like you're standing in the oh. presence of god it just you just feel very light you're incapable of feeling negative emotions yeah. For me, my brain is very empty. That's how I know I'm coming down when I start thinking about shit again. Like what I have to do tomorrow. I'm like, oh, it's okay. you're like, oh, it's wearing Swearing off. off. I remember. You I'm dip, remembering dip your life. finger in the. You dip your finger in the bag one more time, and you're like, all right, we're back to, to feeling good again. Okay, but you're like a nice three so, to I, six hours of like. I'm fit to try vibing. it. Vibing, dude. If you see, if you find that's some why drugs are good. Drugs are fantastic, and I'm yeah. I'm glad I didn't take them early in life, but I'm happy I do now. Same. Um, speaking of drugs, yeah, you don't want to be the person that did it too early, and like, like I once like I see you like snort something off a toilet seat. That's like when I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, you, uh... that's jumping the shark in drugs. <laughs> like that's that's like I'm not doing that. Wait, guys, before you um, no, I'm good. before you continue about. Drug Justin, I want to say we have a special guest hanging out with me in the room today. It is hey, what's it this? Is her finally is my your wife? beautiful oh. wife? Oh, yeah. You don't have to hide. Can she? No, hear me? she can't. She can't. They said you don't have to hide. Don't worry. Okay, she's done. You don't have to. Hide. So she can't hear me. She's done. No. You're beautiful, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Justin, when are you gonna move out here, bro? When is she inviting me? Um, <laughs> You're invited right now, but I tell you, you hit the corner of Tompkins and uh, and Hope Avenue, and sh- sniper bullets are coming towards your way, bro. I promise. <laughs> sniper bullets. I thought. Wait, it would are just you be implying that you you of... are sniping me, or that you live in a dangerous neighborhood and I will be sniped? Both. <laughs> um. Why can't it? It should be this, like. <laughs> That's what it should start. But I, I want you to realize it's okay because uh, this guy oh, is coming boy, after you. Type of boy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be rolling through with fish nets. Yes. I'm going to bring my, my and, deck. If like, you're prepared to duel, I'm ready to duel, you know. <laughs> oh, is he going to banish you Banish you to the yeah, shadow bro. realm? Wait. First of all, wait, what no, it hold is? on. Okay, Joey. Season ending. The new season ending is Joey and and Justin in a uh, Yu Gi Oh battle, and whoever loses goes to I the need, shadow. I need to break Which down that pronunciation. Yu Gi Oh is that was that was that a purpose? <laughs> Yu Gi Oh. You said the Yu-Gi-Oh. shadow realm is Staten Island. <laughs> the shadow realm is Staten Island. I don't know. <laughs> no <laughs> You stay there. You just stay wait, there. Like Tristan, like, there's um. You gotta live on Arctic Hill. There's something on your tooth. I don't know if it's like if you're like bleeding or something. On your left tooth. Oh, it did. Did you cut yourself? Oh, I hit myself in oh, the mouth. Oh, fuck. Well, s- it's since right. your wife is in the room, this is a great time to bring up the earlier topic. So earlier in the chat, we were discussing, I wanted to have a segment about 
movies that are not horror movies in, in the honor of spooky season that would be horror if you were in them. And we came across an interesting topic. I personally think any version of Freaky Friday, I would die in. Like, are you like if you swap with your mom or a relative, yeah. I would be crying and kill myself and not use the bathroom. I would just die of dysentery if I swap bodies with my mother. Yeah. But we then brought up the topic of yeah, what if that would you, be terrible. What if you switch bodies with your partner and would you fuck yourself? Mm. Because we yes. are asking the important questions. Of course. I personally, here's my thing, right? If I let's 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 think about the person I'm fucking right now. Would I swap bodies with them and fuck myself? Um, I don't. Yeah. I don't my wife can fuck thing. me all she wants, as my <laughs> version, as the her Here. version of like me, or whatever version version she's. Let's in. get her. Let's get her opinion. Let's get her. I, don't have a set of like, I mean, if this if this is Damn. a this is a good a point as any you ask yeah. me. I mean, we need to find out what she thinks. Does she, would she fuck you? Would it? Or would it be like? Like Babe, I think a lot of women do have the fantasy if, about having if we a pink penis, bodies, like free, on some Freaky Friday shit, right? Um, <laughs> would you, as me, fuck yourself? Which would be me. You'd be fucking me, but it's your body, and you're fucking me with my penis. <laughs> I love the exercise. How is the content? Penis. She's saying sure. She's saying let's get a, a shot of that. Can you just look at the camera and say sure? <laughs> Yeah, way to go. Yeah. yeah. Are you putting it in Joey's ass? That's that's the um, one. Not you know Wait, Oh, are you putting it in your own ass? But with your penis? I don't think uh ugh. or is he or is Joey that's experimenting? And wait, this is what this is what the con this is the kind of content people tune no, in for. <laughs> I don't um I don't think we'll play booty games even if it's only in spirit. I do not want to be fucking the ass in spirit. But what if like <clears throat> what if like this is what unlocks like that next level like like intimacy like karma sutric like Man, what that level like all of a sudden you know all of a sudden you know you got this g spot that you never knew you could ever the access a spot. and like yo i don't know listen i think the free friday thing with the partner is really cool because like women experience sex on such a different right? level and we have no idea what like, it's like as much as i've, I've had those like pop 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 kind of like insane you know, nuts. like toe popping kind of shit like yeah you get those like really great ones but like i don't think i have like like what women can go right. through ever like maybe I mean, right. let me maybe i'm let boring me, maybe let me let me let me speak on it for go a ahead, second go ahead, go ahead. Here's, here's here's my fear right oh, oh i tongue in the ass <laughs> oh tongue in the ass is fantastic um see giving and receiving but here's my thing right mm -hmm. i i have a very high body count and I can tell you, I've pulled hard dick out on many women. None of them have been shot. All right. There's never been like a, oh my God, there's, I've never experienced this. I don't so, believe that at all. Really? 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 I'm not girthy, it. bro. I'm long. I'm not girthy. I would That's say okay. I'm probably well, above yeah. average length, below average girth. I don't think you're but below average. But here's my thing. Okay. Here's my so. thing. If I fuck my girl with my dick, now I have the knowledge. So, so like I said, it's a Freaky Friday situation. So mm, my yeah. soul is in her body. Her soul's in my body. So she, gotcha. as me, is mounting me. I have a vagina in this scenario. If she puts the cock in, I now have full knowledge of what that girth feels like. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm afraid that, you know, I'm not going to be beating it's my walls It's not going to be satisfying? Up. It's, no. I, yeah, listen, I know okay. I, I can fuck. I know I can fuck. I can make a girl finish. I can do all, but, all that magic but, shit. But, like, I'm saying, off just the strength of the insertion, what are we, what are we, you know, I, am I, you can't I unlearn know. that I'm not ripping the walls apart. You know what I mean? I've definitely had a lot See, of, like, insertion. that's the dark side. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, you know, when you insert that first time and you mm -hmm. get the, the eye roll and the lip bite and the, mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. ecstasy. I've had that many, many times, but... You know, is, really? is it all an illusion? Is it fake? Have I made that up? I don't want that knowledge in my head. That would be very dark in a relationship. Like if it is your girl and you just find out like your wife, like 10, 13 years and like you slide it, like sh she's sliding into you and you get like, you you're just underwhelmed. Go, hmm. Like, yo, that would be a fuck. That would, that would, that would end the relationship, you can't right? Like, or do you learn how to fuck? Wait, that's the comedy part is then you relearn. That's how to what have I'm sex. saying though. The, yeah, we just <laughs> the knowledge that you would have from that situation, a... you would then be able to like just ruin her life. Spot more. You'd be able to ruin her life. Ooh. Be like, yo, I'm going out with the boys. She's like, no, you're not. And you're like, okay. 
bang, 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 and he, she's just like, fuck, I don't know how he does it, how he knows it. It's just that same spot all the time. Makes me it's a, it's a, want it's a to, key. you know, change my life and, you know, be a stay at home uh, <laughs> sex slave. Because um, that's what we all need. Yeah, that would be men. really fun. Um, to either uh-huh. be the sex slave or I've... have a sex slave. I mean, I feel like that's what we all need as people. <laughs> so I want everybody um, envision Joey being the, the sex slave because yeah, I'm sure there is some kind of leather or or some kind of really f- tight fitting vinyl. Uh, so there you go, guys. I free. like tight clothing. Free for you. Feels nice to okay, be. We haven't, even, we haven't even. Well, like, what would you do with the knowledge that your meat was too small for your wife? See, I don't. I don't look at it that you way. Know. I feel like it's not the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> What did that sound like have to do with anything? <laughs> Cause if you find out that your that your meat is not the the key, like what do you I do? I think I think you don't find out that it's not the key. I think you find out how to make it the key. I believe there is oh, making true. it a key. Okay, Joey's I believe, spiritual. I, I believe it. there's making it a key. I'm I believe telling it's you. like, look, you know, you were endowed with what you're endowed with, and there's a way that only you can do this thing that only you can do. And it fits only for you. And who else can do what? Doesn't matter. But now here's a question. When you switch, I guess no, like switching brains, that, that wouldn't happen. Like having memories. Because um, then I'd have to kill myself. But Freaky Friday. Oh, you're saying general, like if you gain it, your wife's memories? Yeah. But then that's like way more than like, that's almost like fusing. That's, that's way more than person. Freaky Friday. And that is yeah. also a horror movie because that's I do not want to know the things my bro, partners know. Bro, right? Like they're, they're just like burned into their mind is something cringy you did. Like once or no, what like, if like you just like when... you you caught your wife's memories and now you have the memory of the best sex she's ever had. Ever and had and it was you. not you. Damn, we're like ruining this movie. <laughs> I mean, it's a horror movie. It's a horror movie. Okay, uh, but you you know that brings us into the fact that we were talking about what are some like non traditional horror movies like the Freaky Fridays one. Did you did you come up with anything, John? Um, I couldn't. I could only think of like action movies. Um, because mm, mm, mm. it was like a stupid fucking thought. I was like, they're a horror movie to someone because so, like you know you ever think of like a movie where there's like a, you know, like a big bank heist scene and, you know, like the movie like Takers or whatever. And there's like fucking guns going okay. off and like you were just running to get coffee and now you're getting fucking shot out <laughs> with bullets and you just shitted yourself <laughs> all like over Fifth oh, Avenue man. and you feel... think you're going to die. Um, that's that was a horror that movie for someone. Um, I feel like little you know... kids sports movies would be a horror movie for me because I'm just so <laughs> um anxious. About, I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one that misses the shot at the end, man. That that you know. I just I just oh, imagine this. Oh, I just thought you were a nervous coach around kids. You're like, like does this coach want to fuck no, kids? No. Like, why is he so no. nervous? This nigga's just like fucking losing his mind in Air Bud. Yeah, man. I'm like, <laughs> this is gonna be the game that I get crossed. Joey's the game of like, my ah. life of this movie. I'm gonna be the dude that gets his ankles broken in a Disney movie. Like, I'd rather rot in jail. Wow, this is a deep revelation for me. I think I there's no. There's so many movies I would die in. I said earlier, "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids." Bro, I'm I'd kill myself. A limb bro. to a fucking. Ant. I had nightmares about Honey, I Shrunk the Kids for a long time, bro. Like, <laughs> uh, like that's, an ant being that big in comparison to you—that's like, terrifying. I would lose limbs. Hold on, <laughs> Hold on. Will, uh, what, Joey. Yeah. Joey said that he wouldn't. He wouldn't go near the cockroach, but. Like you're gonna tell me you wouldn't ride the cockroach because that's a lot of power. I don't Bro, know. They man. will rip like, you apart. They got like spiky I legs. Apart. I can out, I can outsmart this amazing fucking like animal that's outlived all all of us. No, I uh, I'm gonna hit oh, you with no, some man. facts right now. So uh, one of the dangers of having roaches is that they like under their wings they like emit this like particle that like most people are allergic to. But like you have to have a shitload of yeah. cockroaches to like know that. Oh my so god! If you're so sitting if you're on tiny? one, you will choke and die. Oh, it's know. over. It's like mustard gas. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're really uh, one of the worst things that is uh, ever. Like, I am so glad I don't have to deal with roaches out in the woods like that, right. because like when I li- the place I used to live live in uh, in East Elmhurst, bro, yeah. that was disgusting. Like literally, shit. Like 
roaches would just fall on you uh, like <gasps> midday. <gasps> like, <laughs> exactly. Send a fucking tingle up An my spine. awful fucking place, bro. And awful. That place was so disgusting. I, uh, we spent so much money getting like Orkin and they fucking knocked it all out. Thank God, bro. But like, uh, between, uh, like the transient nature of the, the, the neighbors above us and below us, like they were just like fucking bringing anybody in and people were just bringing gross things or leave shit out because it was like a fucking giant, like, I don't know. Like it's worse than a, like, like it's like a halfway house. <laughs> no, it's yeah. worse because it's like, you know, it's like 20 something year olds that are, are, they got a lease. Yep. Like that's not, yep. dude, they sh- I don't, you shouldn't, I don't mm. understand roaches and rats. Like I've Googled this and looked this up because like, you know, they stay in the city because that's where, like, the food is. But, like, yeah. things yeah. are trying to kill you actively. All Like, nothing's trying to kill a roach in the forest. Why? Just go to the forest. Eat an apple off a tree. One apple could feed a million roaches. Like, go to the woods. True. Nah, and bro. Frolic. In Don't the be woods, in these apartments. There's mad spiders ready for the smoke every day hunting to survive. They're like, yo, yeah, you if, see? I, if I catch me a I roach in these streets, my family eats for a week. It's on site for any <laughs> roach <laughs> Boy, that yo. comes down this yeah. side of the Especially forest. I don't give a fuck. Those city roaches? Yo, those you, those project, city rats. Project those city roaches, rats are project like roaches you know, if they went you to the woods. Project rats, bro? Like, they'd get it on. Go to Queensbridge. Oh rats, no, that's... Like, go to Queensbridge at, at like, you know, 1 a.m. Yo, bro, like I have literally, uh, me and da- like me and Bang Bang would be walking like back from wherever, bu- whatever bullshit we were doing. And I kicked a full grown rat, not seen because it's Queensbridge, like half of it's like really well lit and half it's of it is shrouded uh, in darkness. It's just in complete darkness. Shadow realm. Complete darkness. <laughs> it's the shadow yeah. Yeah. Realm. <laughs> That's uh, the shadow realm. But yeah, no, I, I fucking kicked a fucking full like full motherfucking size rats, like subway rats, which like that also doesn't make sense. How do, how do they like, how do you have <laughs> like tiny little mice, which are like, they're nothing. And then you get, you get to rats, right? Like, like that what do size, you eat? like they're fucking not like I've seen people like being, you know, I worked for a storage facility that had lots of rats. That was fucking scary all the time. I hated that shit. I would be cleaning the the fucking units and just like hear like a rat like moving. I don't know, man. I don't mind New York's. I don't like I don't like field mice in the house. I've had that living in the woods. But uh, mice is stupid too. I hate. But like, I love rats. I remember my favorite New York City rat. I I love rats. Uh, I was waiting for the subway and I saw this rat just AK six (laughs) nine. And I was waiting. I was waiting for the subway, and I saw this rat on like the rail. And this motherfucker was just cracking his knuckles. Like you were just sitting there, you could hear it, like audibly hear this thing cracking his knuckles. He had to be like the size of my arm, bro. This is like the biggest shit I ever seen. He was just cracking his knuckles, and then How do you- <laughs> he was like eating something. Just- he was like eating something. Because it's like three in the morning. This it sounds like Ryuk. <laughs> you-, you just made a rat sound like Ryuk. This, this, uh, this- if you don't know who Ryuk is, that's Death Note, uh, a deaf god. Like you literally oh, no, this, just said, he's eating an apple. No, this. Let me tell you this rat. He was eating something. I don't know what it was. I mean, apple or something. <laughs> a burger. I don't know what it was. Dark. And he just stands up, like a fucking Baki character, and just cracks his fucking knuckles and just starts booking it down the subway. And I'm like, oh, this thing was like getting his See? joints. Ready. He was like, getting ready. He was, <laughs> master, he was preparing for speed. Master Splinter was juicing up. He was like getting his breakfast. <laughs> in. Oh my god. Wait, oh, speaking of rats, can I tell you guys the single whitest? and most depressing thought I've ever had in relation to rats. So oh. when I got promoted and I got transferred to a Trader Joe's in uh, the city um, when I used to work out there and it was my first day and I was so far from home and this store was supposed to be like really crazy. And I was a new manager and I was like uh, really not confident about my abilities because I didn't really know what I was doing. And um, I'm outside the Trader Joe's. It's on 72nd Street. Um, and there's like a little, uh, one of those little parks around the the train station. And I'm sitting on the side. There's a little, sure. little grass and bushes. And then I hear like something scurrying through like the brush- bushes. And oh. I'm like, are those bunnies? Is this a sign <laughs> of bunnies? a prosperous bunnies? Like, you experience? Got, that rat should have no, fucked you up. And then this is what happened. That rat so listen, listen. I was like, that. 
is this like a He's sign like, a of, of a, pros- <laughs> a new prosperous experience like where i'm gonna really find myself as a manager and then i was like no oh, nigga, it's rats this is new york city everything is shit and you're about rats. to get yourself I, fucked I, up with your new life it was a. Uh, I love it that. Was I love that, that. That's a good metaphor I, I for New York know City. What like the you, fuck? Oh, you think it might be bunnies? <laughs> it's, it's really, really just, just rats. rats. <laughs> I really want to know what where the fuck your mind was at that you thought there were bunnies in New York City. I was, I've never seen. Bro, it, I was just really scared. Um, I've never seen. I didn't even think bunnies. Like I, I thought that was something that, like lived in a jungle for a long time in my life. <laughs> and I was like, there's well, no there are a couple of here. jungle bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Cause uh, we're niggers. <laughs> I was just scared. I'll, I'll of, just do that. Of, like just... this new position that I had, I was just so scared that I turned into a child. I was like, "Are there bunnies here?" And then I was like, <laughs> "No, nigga." There's definitely bunnies in Staten Island. At least some part of the. Island. I don't know. We get a lot of deer, though. Deer are vermin. Oh, they are. Oh, yes. Stand on that. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing with me. Because a lot of people in Pennsylvania, when I was out there, they're like, oh, like the deer, they're so special. Da, da, da. They're so <laughs> whimsical. I'm like, I will murder every. I, let me tell you I something. Hate them. I hate them. I'm an evil person. And I know I'm evil because, you know, what, what fills my heart with joy is when Pennsylvania hits that first, first day of hunting season. And I can, mm, you know what, not even, really not, even, not even hunting season, because hearing the gunshots for hunting season, that's beautiful. But before hunting season, mm-hmm. before, about three weeks before, and I want you to pay attention to this, Christian, because you drive around a lot. Look at the road mm-hmm. and see all the blood splattered deers everywhere. Because that's when the, the right before hunting yeah. season, that's when they're like their peak population is. And you can see their death yeah. on the road. And I'm just like, it makes me horny. It's already happening, yeah. Horny to see the blood yes, bro, what's the blood wrong streaks on the yeah. road. Because I know they're dying. Like, yeah. there's... Listen, I they're, wow. they're they're fucking awful. They're to be eaten, all right, bro. Do you realize? I'm gonna tell you. So Joey, I heard have that, you that fucking deer run at your car or a car that you yeah. were in. Yo, one time, bro. Oh my god, I thought I, I yo, I dead thought my life was about to end. Like I was driving and a deer was coming, and like he tried to turn and I tried to turn without like spinning. I hate bro. that I, shit, bro. I, it was like I swear to God, it was that. like slow motion. I was like, it's I'll tell over. you, and I'll tell I you this. Didn't thank God. Pennsylvania has a like like we're in the mountains, right? So like lots of yeah. deer, like all the time. But it's the random animals that people run over that kind of like it doesn't make me laugh, <laughs> but it just makes me go like, "Huh, what's that?" Like I play like a fucking dark game, and I go, "What if what was that animal?" So like, uh, uh I don't know if you have these kind of stories, Justin, because I lived in the far in like Farmville, like New York, like before I got to like this area. And that shit was like every kind of fucking weird animal that I could hit would pop out on me. We had, uh, there was black bears, a bobcat. You know how wild it is to catch up with a bobcat? I've like, had bad dreams they're, they're about They're going at the same speed as my vi- I have vehicle. A, a very like, similar it... story. So, Ooh, bobcats? Uh, kind of. So, I'm at my, uh, so I think my kid was like two or three. I was living with my baby moms in Lake Ariel, which if the audience doesn't know where Lake Ariel is, good, because it's nothing. There's it's just forests. It's one of those rural five miles apart ass areas. Every house is five miles apart, whatever. And I pull up to the crib and my baby mom's stepdad's pickup truck is in the driveway. So I'm behind his truck and I'm sitting on my phone in the driveway. I got my headlights on. And then I see a raccoon <laughs> peek his head out from the bed of the truck. <laughs> I know this is a okay. raccoon. We are making eye contact for a good 20 seconds. Oh, shit. So I honk my horn so this nigga will run out. And this raccoon hops out the bed of the truck. The truck shakes, bro. This is the fattest fucking raccoon I've ever seen. This shit had to be mm-hmm. like this, a little bigger than your current dog. What is your dog's breed? So for the fans. Oh, uh, I got a Pomsky. He's, or are you talking about? I have look? a pit bull. It was about the size of a pit bull, yeah. It was a fucking pit bull size fucking raccoon. I would have This thing it. leaped out. The truck like shook, and I saw it scamper away. I saw the striped tail, and I'm like, "Holy fuck, that was a big fat raccoon!" So I sit in the car for about ten more minutes. Oh and nah. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna go back in the house. I go back in the house. I tell my baby mom's mom, my kid's grandmother, Mima. Shout out to Mima. Um, she go. I go. Yo, I just saw the fattest fucking raccoon, and this woman. Not to say bitch, because she basically raises my child. But um, this woman, she says, are you sure it was a raccoon? I don't think raccoons get that big. And then, like I said, this is me being new to the woods. 
So right. I don't even know what's out there. And she goes, was it a bobcat? Could have been a black bear. It could have been a, it could have been a mountain lion. <laughs> you were like, like naming all this shit been that a mountain like, lion, bro. lives in this area. And I'm like, why the fuck y'all got my child up here with all these apex predators, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a lot of them, bro. There's a lot of them. Yo, like, uh, we, we have, like, black bears. I've shown you pictures, bro. Like, they destroyed my shed. Like, completely fucked my shed up. And I was not used to that, like, at all. Like, just, like, fucking any animal just destroyed. Like, we had to worry about my uh, my mother-in-law has, like, one of those little yappy dogs. Yeah. We had to worry about that dog because we had uh, eagles, like, circling the area. So they were, like, and, um, someone's going to hate me for this. But I got, uh, I don't like turkeys. I hate turkeys. Turkeys are vermin, um, and protected vermin on Staten Island also. I have a I have a BB gun and I shot one of them in their butt and they ran away. <laughs> and that's my dark secret. Uh, I I probably ruined that bird's like life for a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's dead. First of all, I hope you're he's a dead. pussy for not killing it and eating it. Um, you have a real gun. <laughs> I should have ate it. So why did you shoot a BB gun? I would have took the 22 out or the fucking because it was literally oh, right there. Oh, the I nine? like pulled it out and I was like, and it just Some ran off. It was the turkey? funniest thing in the I world love to me. Turkey. Yo, uh, let's talk about New York. Wild turkey. Speaking of New York and bird abuse, I did kick a pigeon once in high school. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just walking along, and I just kicked it. And oh, it was no. Because I thought like it was going to fly away, and it just right. did not. Just, <laughs> it did yeah, not. Got to follow through, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> got to see it through, my boy. And it just to, rolled off. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I thought, uh, thought you were, were going to miss, but... I wonder what that pigeon's up to right Did now. Did this pigeon turn into like an older black man, like, like a middle aged black man? I just like, all hey, I gotta roll through. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I, I get that. Pigeons just old black yeah, people like, who are like, why are these why are these Negroes on our land? Seriously, they're like, like the old black those people. Pigeons that are hate young black people. That. You know what I mean? Man, like a pigeon once told me to pull my Those pants are... up and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor yeah, pigeons. fuck pigeons, I l- fuck animals. Like, did I ever uh, tell you my dream was to be a poacher? That was my like dream growing up. I love animals. <laughs> Why are you having dreams about being a poacher again? Let's like, go back to my first fantasy of the apocalypse riding around in a jeep with a gun and no shirt on. That's my ideal job. If I can kill something, whether it be people, elephants, tigers, um, with, and not tigers. I don't fuck with cats because we love big cats out here. But uh, I'm a very big cat fan. <laughs> but I will lace up a fucking elephant. If, oh, my God. You ever imagine that lifestyle? Like, I'm just selling ivory on the black market with abs? Oh, oh, uh, oh my uh, God. I don't know if that's a, if that's something that people want to see, man. I, I think that's kind of taboo. I think that's oh, worse all, than, all my than fantas- anything out there right now. All of my fantasies are taboo. Porn star, poacher, uh, oil tycoon, Nino Brown. Wait. Like These are things I want to do with my life. I don't want to do Isn't that the shit. same thing? Isn't that all the same thing? That's all. Like, you could just say Nino Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it would cover all of that. Did Nino Brown? Oil tycoon. Poacher. I don't know. I'm saying it what if, for him. What if there was like a like a deleted scene where like Nino Brown reveals he's vegan for no reason? <laughs> Talib uh, Kali, like just like I'm vegan now. Like that was one thing Wait, like I on. didn't Did see coming. As... That Nino Brown was top played by Talib Kali because he was played by Wesley Snipes. N- uh, no, I'm saying that he is actually a vegan. A vegan well, yes, because he's and like a, finding that out because he's a good person. Oh, but fuck all that. Like I want to eat the animals. I want to kill <laughs> things. Oh, let's speak. Let's have a speak of a thought I had earlier. Um, so you know how we always talk about like when we're old, we're going to do all these drugs. Are you going to mm-hmm. murder somebody? I think we're all atheists here, correct? Yeah, yeah whatever. I'm agnostic. Yeah, agnostic. Know? I it's believe there's a higher power. Whatever is going on is going on. And I'm just I don't know what trying it is. to navigate. It might be a supercomputer. <laughs> I love Joey's know? take. Whatever's going on is going on. <laughs> I'm just trying to make my way. Dog. Yeah, I, I got to go to supercomputer. He's just got to accept it. And you got to be in the uh, the apocalypse. <laughs> like, I are, have to observe it. So are you guys going to murder somebody on your deathbed? Because I feel like if I'm 74 and I get angry enough at somebody, I'm not holding back. I'm just going to kill you. Because... Here's what I'll do no. is I will definitely like get the heads of my enemies and place it on like either side of my truck. So people just know. Mm. So yeah, I'll murder somebody. Nah, yeah, I, I think... think I'm taking a life before I go. Cause I mean, according to the Bible, I'm already going to hell anyway. So I might right. as well get the ninth level, you know right. what I mean? Like you the, know what I'm uh, saying? the exclusive package. Turn me up, Scotty. Like 
<laughs> For me, you need a big size. Listen, who? All right. So if you when, found it, out, let's let's talk about this. Let's get real dark. If you found out today oh. you had forty five days to live, and you could kill somebody, who are you killing? Oh, I'm smoking, niggas, bro. <laughs> niggas are dead. Holy bro. shit! I'm sliding. I, no I will idea. be. I will never I be done sliding until I got. A, <laughs> I got a week to live. That's a week of niggas dying. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Um. Uh, no. no. Um, Who specifically? Scary, if you can name Joey. them. Uh. Well. Don't name them. Don't name them. This, this is evidence. What the fuck, Justin? <laughs> wow, Justin tried to set me up. That's crazy. It doesn't matter. If it's Yo, ev- I'm saying if you found out you were going bite. to die. All right. If you found out you were going to die, because it doesn't matter if it's evidence. <laughs> nah, don't no, hog the horn on me, bro. Because listen, listen. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make it even spicier. I'm gonna combine the poacher fantasy with the murder fantasy, and I'm gonna say that if I found out I had a week to live, you're poaching humans. I'm putting it on the internet, like I am going to kill these people by the end of the week, and then I get to hunt them. Because it's not even gonna be like on some like, yeah. oh, you're gonna, I'm gonna go to where they, I'm gonna stalk their Instagram on the low and find them. No, I'm gonna let them know they're dying, and then I'm going to find them, and that'll be my game for the week. Yo, to you know there's, motherfuckers. there's a Toronto and no one's rapper. Me seriously, because okay. I'm an old man. Yeah, I'm gonna be 75, so everyone's okay, gonna be like, Saw. "Oh, this old man is not gonna do nothing." Okay, senile. the plot for Saw. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you, Bro, Justin. A, oh, no. Again, leading us down a trap we don't need. This to go. is not Saw. This is Mad Max, baby. Because like I said, I'm gonna tweet it. I'm gonna put it out there, and I'm gonna be 75 years old or terminal with cancer, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, he's lashing out because he's on his last days." Yeah, I'm gonna lash out in that Jeep. Is he with the shirtless? Because I'm still have abs when I'm 75. I don't give a fuck. I'm on, on all types of uh, steroids and yeah, products at this no, point. I respect. I'm gonna it. fucking pull up. Demon I'm gonna hunt this <laughs> with a sawed off. All my enemies, you're getting laced the fuck down. Jesus. Not laced wow. up, laced we, down. I am mur- I'm, I'm going out crazy, bro. I had a fantasy once where I found out that there was this like drug town in Puerto Rico that's like run by the cartel. And my dream was to uh, fight the cartel and die that way. Because I'm not uh. trying to heart attack. Like, that's mad gay to die of heart disease or whatever else kills men. Like, no, I'm g- dying in a firefight at 87 years old. I don't. Wait. I don't want to get killed by the cartel. Those niggas firefight. are fucking. I don't they'll leave I your body out there looking the bad. <laughs> um, but I think my weapon of choice would be something like a forty-five or like a Desert Eagle, something that would actually probably break my hand if I try to shoot it. Um, nah, I'd you know probably what? just rock, rock with a Glock, you know, Glizzy. Might throw the thirty on it, you know. Nah, see, you're, you're in the middle. And like I said, this is my fantasy on my deathbed. I'm going on the low end and the high end. I'm getting a machete and a bazooka because I can shop in the black market now. Because, like, who cares if the feds track my activity? I'm going to die soon anyway. So I'm going to be on the black market, look up a bazooka, the illegal bazooka, get it from (laughs) Indonesia. And then I'm going to pull up to to a nigga's crib with his mom in the crib on the holidays. Cause oh, having an RPG, oh, okay. oh my god, it would be pointed at somebody's face. It would face. be so lit to find out I was terminal around the holidays, because then I know my enemies are. Oh, you posted mm-hmm. grandma's pie. Mm-hmm. I'm pulling up <laughs> for a slice. Poisoned for a slice. Wait, why not? No, we're not, no, we're, this is a bloody <laughs> death. I'm pulling. I'm pulling up, and I'm getting a slice of that pie and a slice of your liver. All right, I'm taking it all. I'm gonna eat the liver. <sighs> I'm gonna eat the guts. I'm gonna go out mad. <sighs> I would just. I'm be going a- out <sighs> in a hail of gunfire. I'm doing all types of. Disturbing nonsense. If I find out I'm terminal, Again, I would just be a demon. Is this in the person streets. that's that's threatening you? Hold on. Or you know or, what you need you to do? What? Let's lighten it up. Or if I am in love at that point in time, I will spend my last days with the love and just yeah. let go of the hate and and enjoy the the time with my lady love because I am a lover boy. I'm a I don't CLB. know what I would do. I'm spending. I don't I'm know trying what to spend my last days emptying clips of my balls. Um, oh, oh, you know, <laughs> into like, your wife. I mean, why not? So, um, yeah, of course. She's right next to you. Um, Be careful. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to say this. She can still this kill is, you in your sleep. And this is for any ladies listening out there that might might be into me. If you do find out I'm terminal, yes, we're gonna have we're gonna make sweet love. We're gonna have our best memories. Yeah, that's what I'm bed. saying. But if you really love mm-hmm. me, you'll kill my enemies with me. All right, you'll take that hand <laughs> and go to jail. <laughs> That is actually a good idea. Like honestly, you know, uh, you know, uh, a, a horror film that is kind of really a horror film at the end of the day. Uh, have you guys ever watched Queen and Slim? I have not. No, I have not. I tried to watch Black Trauma okay. Porn because I'm pretty what? sure that's what that movie is. It's not. It's not Black Trauma Porn. It's. It's. It's not. No. 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 
Hold on. I like the way it you is, put that. It what what what's great about it is that it is a like it's almost an action film. It's like it what is the meets premise kind for of those everything in the middle. Know, and by those who don't know, okay. I mean so me. essentially, so essentially, spoiler it, uh, alert: it's a date right. gone completely spoiler wrong. Alert. Spoiler alert: if you haven't seen yeah, it, it's well, been out for like yeah. five years. Don't spoil it, but just tell me what the premise. Oh, is. Oh, okay. I don't. I just like uh, the okay. premise is uh, that essentially it is a first date, um, and it is a little bit. Uh, it gets to the point where they they get stopped by the cops. And they uh, get harassed, and they struggle for the gun, and uh, the the male protagonist shoots him. And the guy dies, but he's a piece of shit, and everyone finds out that he's a piece of shit. Instead of, like, sticking around, they run. But they did some good killing in there. Uh, they did some really good, like, revenge killing, which was, like, sick. And I loved that film. It was awesome. Okay. Fucking, and that's the fantasy. Was sad, me though. and my love. She broke my head. Me and my love on a murder but, streak. Like that's Yeah. And, and it mean taken out. Like 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 But this together. is why I'm probably single because that's Bonnie what I'm looking and Clyde. for a partner. It's like you're, some you're somebody looking in a for Bonnie a Bonnie. And Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. You're looking for a Bonnie, yeah. Yeah. I get it. So Those this is why I'm single. insane, bro. So in the meantime, I'll just do drugs with people and pretend I love them because again, Molly. Yes. Yeah. I, what if that's who Bonnie and does, Clyde were? I don't know. They're like time so, you know, travelers. If they, they Molly, they Molly and Clyde were just no. on Molly. They're time travelers. Um, and they came back and they're like, yo, Hold we're going to like, we have unlimited lives or something like that. Like we're rich. We can pay for extra lives. Um, we're going right. to take some Molly, go back in time to like, you know, the thirties or twenties or whenever it happened and just slide on niggas and we rob banks, movie. you know, and then we're just going to go out in the hell of, in a hell of gunfire Copyright. and then we'll go back to right living our lives. You know, like, I feel like this is like a video game that like some rich spoiled um, teens far in the future get to play. It's Westworld. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's Westworld, but, it, uh, it, but it's Westworld with extra steps. So I'm, I'm with it. Um, uh, I think like, does, is that where everybody turns? Like, is that the dark, dark, deep fantasy that everyone has? Like, is it murder? Yeah. I don't know. I everybody wants it. to kill somebody. Everybody wants to kill somebody. It does everybody. We need to put this out to No, the, okay. To the I, I won't say like, everybody is... wants to kill somebody, but I think everybody wants somebody not alive or out of their life. Does everybody have the capacity? Does everybody oh, have the capacity think, to kill somebody? I think I have the capacity to kill somebody. I fantasize about it a lot. I've had a very dark See, last like you... five years, and it's just pushed me over the edge. I've lost friends for bullshit. Okay. I've been accused of sexual assault by white women that I didn't even have sex with. Um, you know, I've just uh, I've I've gone to a very dark place. And what chime back in for therapy? Yay! I've you know that that seems to have helped. But uh, you know, there's there's fantasies of people that I would like to see see ended. <laughs> By my hand. Hey, listen, I like to imagine stabbing people. Do you ever like watch one of those like movies or something like where like a guy dies and another guy is like upset about it that he didn't kill him? <laughs> like, I, I, I can't like name a specific movie that's happened in, but I know I've seen that premise before. You, it's, the speaking of 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 films, have you guys you guys still haven't watched The Sopranos? Have you? No, I have not. No, no. Uh, but I well, know over, the uh, show over the weekend show came out right. Well, Spin it's off? a movie over the weekend. Too many, uh, not too many. The Many Saints of Newark, New Newark yeah. came out, which is kind of like a uh, almost an origin story uh, for a couple of characters. Came out, not going to spoil anything, but uh, if you did, you did catch it. Um, uh, I'll just say this: Brado's a son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, it, it was. A, it was. It was. I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about it personally. I think it was kind of weak. Uh, if I'm being honest, uh, because I think it was a really good, uh, there was a really good line about it. Like it, this would have benefited greatly by just being another series because like, like, I think that also talks about like how entertainment is nowadays. Like, I think a lot of people get more, uh, out of something that has, um, lots of story behind it and like you're able to like progress with the characters and and kind of learn them because that's what the sopranos did i mean it did like what i don't, I don't remember it's like, i think six or nine uh seasons of like just building up these characters to the point and uh yeah it was you know it's like 
an hour and 45 minutes that just went kind of like really quick. You know what? Uh, this actually brings me to something I talked about like a week ago um, in the yeah. chat. I was saying that um, in the chat that, you know, one thing I miss and didn't appreciate about being the ages of like 18 or like 25 or even like just under 25 in general, mm -hmm. everything is marketed yeah. for you. Everything's marketed mm -hmm. for you. Like everything, that, all yeah. the music that comes out, all the movies are for you. But now we're at this age where we're getting shit marketed for us, but it's like nostalgia. It's crap. just old shit. That's why you have this like Cowboy Bebox re Redux and all Redux, this like, yeah. you know, uh, you know, fucking Soprano shit. for it all. And yeah. it's just like, it's, it's never good though. Although I did hear, and I'm yeah. hoping I'm hoping for the best, but I did hear they are continuing the Avatar series after the last Airbender. I hear they're doing they're doing Ooh. they're doing another live action, which That's I, don't know, news. I don't know why they're doing that. Oh, and I, I did hear about that. Continuing this because I think the live the the new live action is not by the original creators. Right, they're trying so to I'm redeem themselves. To they're trying to get the. But I think back. the original creators are continuing the series between like of Aang's story. Oh, so fire. I, I okay. don't think you could fuck that up. You really, it's going to be, you're going to be hard pressed to fuck that up if it's the original yeah. guys doing no, it. It's a, and there's another thing coming out that's Avatar related. I don't know what it is. I think it might be like a mini series. Avatar adjacent. Really? A mini series. See that I can get behind. I don't know what is it about when you make uh, a series, uh, like a mini series that makes me so much more happy about like watching it. Like there was another, sh uh, uh, for all of those into the spooky hmm. season, is that's a terrible sentence i never want to say again <laughs> um uh it, like literally if you're into any kind of horror films i watched uh midnight mass did you guys did you guys catch this uh, a not, nice little mini series i do not watch horror if you do you don't watch horror at all no nope. it's a it's a different type of horror okay. but um it, it's it's really interesting i like uh kind of the premise of it and especially like you know what the the show ended up surrounding I thought it was really cool. Uh, it is a slow burn, though. So it's, it was like you got to get to episode three and then finally start to see where everything, why everything was set the way it was. But it's a mini series, so that's what makes me happy because I know in eight episodes, I'm Midnight done. Mass. Like, I don't yeah, have Yeah, no, I, I do, I do appreciate Mass. that about mini series too, knowing that it's like, you know, I can just... There's a purpose. Yeah, there's a purpose. Like, I'm yes. done They're with They're telling this. me a story. Like... And there's a yeah, beginning. Like and an they're end. telling you a nice serialized yeah. story that will not go further than, than you know, Eight episodes. Uh, six seasons yeah. or something like that. You know, like American Horror Story is like a perfect example of that. Like where you had something that was like that first season was really cool. Yeah. I'm not going to say that there was no other season that was good, but it's like I feel like it's like it's long in the tooth. Like it's just yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Well, that's you know American Horror Story is a cash cow. They're just milking that shit as long yeah. as they possibly yeah. can. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't fuck with horror because I'm already way too conscious of my mortality. Like I, there's, I would say at least four days a week I wake up and go, damn, I'm gonna die one day. Is this is this the way? Is this have I lived the fullest life <laughs> that I could live? Like I, this is a first thought. Like five a.m. wake up. Mm -hmm. Thank God I'm. Uh, Will not be at that job soon. By the time this episode airs, I only have like one day left. So, <laughs> so awesome. Hey. awesome. Thank God I will have a new job, uh, not have to wake up at 5 a.m. And whew, cannot fucking wait for that. 5 a.m. That is not a not a godly time. See, here's my I thing. Hated... I'm all about an early start mm -hmm. if I'm not starting yeah. it with work. If yes. I'm starting it with like yes. going to the gym yes. or let's do a podcast yeah. or whatever, yes. beautiful. Holla fucking Luya. But going to work, starting off with work, is just bad the worst. for the world. Yeah. And, you know, there's always that... 4.30 uh, as a shift one yeah. time. Oof. Four fucking yep. 30. Like, start... Like, I, I, you're waking up at, like, 2, 3 a.m. because you have to give yourself enough buffer yeah. to be alive. Yeah. Because, like, you, you really... Like, when it's, like, <laughs> those weird hours, like, fuck that. Yes. You know what it Don't is with me, too? I have a weird thing where, like, if I sleep for five hours and wake up, I'm good. I'm golden. Mm -hmm. My brain is golden. I'm set. But if I go back to sleep, and I usually do need to go, because if I wake up at five, right, I'll wake up at, like, mm -hmm. you know, two in the morning and be good. But then I'm like, oh, it's two in the morning. I should go back to sleep. And when I go back to sleep and that alarm mm -hmm. goes off at five, the brain is like, nigga, fuck you. Why would you put us down, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> let's give you all the most intrusive Jeez. thoughts we can have. Let's... Let's make everything about every horror in your life. You know what? Let, let's wake you up to some cringy childhood memories of you yeah. not being able to talk to girls. Let's, make, right. let's do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's just Holy fuck shit, me bro. up. Like, can we, I, you know, when those, 
like I, I'm gonna reveal a cringe moment for myself. Uh, wait, I think I did talk about this. Maybe um, I had a giant crush on some girl. Wait, and is this, this the story is, about uh, the journal? I'll tell you. Yeah, but I tell you, it was a Goosebumps journal. <laughs> That's valid. Just to give you that. Yeah, it was. And, and you know, uh, I guess I did talk about it because I'm repeating myself at this point. But uh, that that was cringe, bro. Oh, do but you want to hear was, my cringe? It was elementary. I, I got a cringe one for you. So mm. I was in eighth grade. I'm definitely a late bloomer, just in every aspect of reality. So eighth grade, I could mm-hmm. not talk to girls. And I like this. Okay. I like how my screen is frozen and Joey looks really hot and it's got a nice profile. But anyways, <laughs> you were like taking a bump nice. of the blunt. It was the side profile. It was like very album cover esque. But uh, anyways, so I was in eighth grade and I crushed this girl Melissa. This little light skinned John, real skinny, not cute in hindsight. I don't know what I was on. I think I just thought she was really smart and I was really into her. But um, Dito. told well, my gotta be bro. Told my boys I had a crush on her. And I think who was it? I think it was my boy Igor. Shout out to Igor. I'm pretty sure he's a listener. But um, he he goes and tells her I have a crush on her, and she starts walking up to me in the lunchroom, and I fucking my social anxiety was on a thousand. I don't know you. Most people can't tell this now because I am an extreme oversharer, but and I have a podcast. But I am mm-hmm. I had crazy social anxiety up until I was like eighteen or nineteen years old. So this girl starts walking up to me. And I booked it across the lunchroom. I ran and I hid behind a pillar. <laughs> I hid behind a fucking pillar in the lunchroom. And I'm like, <sighs> and she just was like, all right, nigga, whatever. So later, I mean, and obviously, what the fuck was I running to? This is eighth grade. We're all in the right. same class, bro. Like, right. I, you, I'm going to see you later. <laughs> so later after lunch, she, I, I, she sneaks up on me, taps me on the shoulder. I turn around and she's like, you know what? I heard you like me and I kind of like you too, but I need a real man. You can't just be running from me. Like, what the fuck was that bullshit? This is an eighth grader wow. talking to me. This is, an eighth, this is a 13 year that. old talking to me. And I'm That's just like, a lot I, of just, pressure. I felt so small in that moment. Yeah. I wish I could remember her last name because I would definitely scoop out of spite because you know, you know, she's probably gonna, <laughs> yeah. you know what? She's from Queen. She's probably gonna, just kill it. She probably got two babies now. Just kill it. Nah, she definitely yeah. went to college. She doesn't matter. Mm, Break that back. Who knows? Break you know that what? back I as mean, revenge. 30 plus, bro. I've bagged some very educated like women. We're not like 20-year-olds. I would scoop that up Have so you... hard. I'm delicious now, bro. I would I would game that to death. Even if she was ugly, I'd be like, you know what? Let's, no. I got to do this for the memories, bro. Would you guys, th- you know, uh, this kind of brings me into a, a topic I, uh, I think we should close out on, is uh, one of our last episodes brought me to Cougar Talk. Now, um, <laughs> Cougar Talk uh if you if for those who don't know are uh women that are uh, older uh probably in the milf category um uh actively being on social media saying that they want younger men would you guys be uh what's the what oh a cub would you be <laughs> a cub like being taken care of being like like given money would, I think Justin has already said yes. I'm trying to well, be uh, a cub. I will. I will. Um, trying to figure it out. Open this with some news this. for you guys. I have made a seeking arrangements profile. So <laughs> what the I'm, fuck um, is a seeking arrangements profile? <laughs> seeking arra- seeking dot com. It's a website to. It's mostly for sugar daddies looking for sugar babies. But you know, I'm I'm down to be hey. a cub. So yo, you know, I, I made off. one for fun just to see what's out there. I haven't really been checking in on it, but uh, you know, your boy is on the prowl for someone to pay these bills because I'm a sex ox, bro, and I need uh, to be reared. Sex ox. I am cattle. <laughs> strong, strong like you bull. Ox tail. Strong like bull. Hmm. Well, oh, bro, a cougar talk uh, brought me to some interesting places. Um. Uh. Uh. You know, shout out to all the ladies out there that I put love, themselves. I love how you describe interesting places as the the only fans of old women. That's that's where it brought <laughs> yeah, basically what it was. I was like, what the fuck? Like, uh, like it. I does brought, your wife share in this love of cougars? Uh, no, uh, uh she'll find out. <laughs> 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 no, uh, it was one of those things because you know, like now I'm uh, I'm entering my mid thirties. Uh. I think this happens to all of us men. There's a, there's like this, like the age shifts up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, and all of a sudden, like, you know, the, the early thirties, like, it's just me. Like, <laughs> it's the same thing. Like you got to shift it up. So it was an interesting thing to, to realize. I was like, yeah. Oh, that's kind of hot. Yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. And you know, yeah. God bless them. Yeah. So is this what you do on TikTok? Just uh, get horny for old ladies? Uh, it, it was research for the I'm podcast, and TikTok. then it became that. That's why I stay off TikTok. Yeah. No, there's so much. Because if that, I could like go back so. in time <laughs> and just like be like, I would just I would have just dedicated my my late teens and early twenties to training myself to be a prime cub when it comes to you know me turning twenty eight and then going up there or something or whatever yeah. you know. Yeah. Just That's let it. me make beats, and you're gonna give me money, and I just gotta come and dick you down. Yeah, uh, bro. And you're like, you're giving you an like experienced a fresh woman. Jacket. Like I a feel mom, like that's what it should be, which makes it all kind of weird oh. now when you think about it. It's like, it, uh, yeah, Oedipus it's complex. Like, yeah, right. It's like, uh, like, you want a mom? Uh, to fuck? It, no, you know that's part of the kink. I think you know the fact that it is like somebody to take care of you. Do you miss that? And like, yeah, I don't know. I, like, I, the oldest person I fucked was 48 when I was 25. And not for me. I like what? age appropriate women. I like them spry with a lot of energy and, and abs and fat asses. You know, I like them around. I understand. I respect to that. Too. 28 yeah. said like, damn, I'm closer to 40 than I am at 28. That sucks. Shit. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like yeah, the shift. Yeah. Like you know, it you're... becomes a shift. Like now you you got to look at like class. mid 40s, yes. early 40, uh, late 40s, yeah. and you go like, hey, not bad. Yeah. Because yes. it starts yeah. to it, your brain. And you know what? Women of all ages and all creeds, they're hot. Yep. I'm just going to say yeah. that. All of yeah. you are hot. I'm, I'm rolling with the times, yeah, I, man. <laughs> whatever. It. Well, maybe I'll try another 45 year old now that I'm age appropriate 10 years after the fact. <laughs> yeah, bro. Facts. Actually, you know what? She it's just funny. starts taking you to the casino. Because I was at the bar, I was doing security the other day, and this woman walks in. And I thought this girl was like 22. And she hands me her ID. She's 39. And I was like, oh my God. Hey, like, miss, I'm taking she, you I home. Her. Thick as all hell. She twerked all all brunch. And I was just like, I should scoop. Mm, and I was like, you brunch, know what? I'm, brunch I was like, twi- twerking. I was like, you know what? I'm broke. I'm going to leave you alone. But uh, I'm glad you're, you're here and you're, you're uh, dancing off these mimosas. I would have figured it out. <laughs> I would have opened up a credit card. I would have been like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'm about to go right now. Um, yeah, I would like to use the card number. What is yeah. that? Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Just call Capital exactly. One. Like, yo, it's bitches outside Capital One. Can I get a limited? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a cash advance? I don't care please. how much the interest rate is. Jack it up, baby. I swear to God, I'll pay it. I'll like, oh, oh, it's it's bitches outside, sir. No problem. Five thousand dollar limit increase. Have fun. <laughs> Listen, I think that's that's how we should end the show is all of us getting five thousand dollar credit increases uh uh for varying things. Yeah. Okay, for to protect us all. For the bitches know. outside. Actually it's funny, I did get a credit <laughs> increase randomly. That was about two thousand dollars for no reason on my card. So maybe maybe Capital One knows. Hey. Hey. It was like right before hey. I started that fucking fucking uh security job too. So good shit, I good think shit. they know. I think they know it's bitches outside it's at Capital bitches One. Bitches outside. It, it definitely is. Uh, th- uh we gotta plug one more time. Uh uh, coming up this week, we are going to be having our good friend yes. Mike over at Hurt X Less. Uh, that's Hurtless. Uh, we will be having him draw something live. Uh, so for those of you who haven't been tuning in, we're going to make you tune in. We're going to give you a reason to look because uh, honestly, Mike has some great stuff. He's been doing stuff for my family uh, and you know um, all our friends and has come up with some really cool stuff. And uh, I think it's some of the stuff that we already came up with is pretty fucking hysterical. So, yeah. uh, and by stuff he means art because day. he did not. For- <laughs> Mike draws. Did I say that? You didn't. Know. <laughs> Mike draws. Yeah, Mike no, draws. I said he Mike draws. does draw. He's he an he illustrator. He has a sticker pack. I think is is it hurt x less or is it hurt with an x hurt. as the u? No, it's it's hurtless with the x in between. Yeah, yes, yeah, with the x. H x r t l e s s. Find him on Instagram. Buy his sticker packs. Uh, follow me on Instagram at thin.cruel.lips and follow the National Meat Treasure on all social medias at thin. I mean, not uh, at National, National Meat, Meat Treasure. Treasure. And we'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for checking in, guys. Yes. Thanks.